with the first pick in the NBA Draft. The NBA Draft is a rite of passage for young, talented men across the world who want to play in basketball's biggest league. Nikola Jokic. Hakeem Olajuwon. Joel Embiid. Luol Deng. And this year, someone close to the home has declared for the draft. I'm Tosan Awome from Newcastle, England. Tosan Awome is British basketball's biggest star, but this hasn't always been his favorite sport. Kind of picked up the game of basketball pretty late. I was 14, um, so other sports kind of dominated my life before that. Um, soccer was the main one. Um, so, you know, just being able to pick things up quickly, I think, and um, having kind of a growth mindset and, and loving to, to learn the game is, is, I think, a big part of the reason I'm here. He started his career at Newcastle Eagles before he spread his wings and left for America. Making a decision to come to college in the U.S. Was, was a big turning point. And then again, after my freshman year, was another big turning point for me. And I think I, I realized how good I could be and, and what I could kind of achieve, you know, for myself, for my family. So those, those were two big turning points for me. Tosan made his name during March Madness College Basketball Tournament earlier this year, helping his 15 seeded team, Princeton Tigers, cause an upset when they beat second seat Arizona. And Tosan's college degree reflects his future ambitions. I was, uh, you know, looking at how diversity in NBA front offices uh, might affect team performance. Um, so, you know, got done with that recently. Um, just got graded. So that's kind of one of the last uh, components before graduation. But it's his family that has helped shape Tosan's outlook on life. My dad's been a, a huge influence to me. Um, my mum passed when I was um, younger, when I was 11, um, and you know, just very thankful to him and um, the way he was able to kind of hold down the fort with me and my brother um, at the time, um, and you know, make it seem like everything was okay, um, you know, from his perspective. And and again, like I think a lot of the values that I live by, I get from him, and you know, selflessness being you know at the top of that list. Um, he's a doctor and. There's IVF treatment, and that, you know that's one of the most rewarding jobs to me um, that you can kind of do. You know, bringing new life into this world where it might not be possible otherwise. So I look up to him, you know, a lot, and uh, you know he's taught me so many things, and, and I always be very grateful for you know the huge part he's had in my life. Tosan was one of only 78 players invited to take part in the NBA Combine, a showcase tournament where hopefuls can impress ahead of the draft. And he knows that the British basketball community is closely watching his progress. It's really cool, I think, um, being able to, you know, hopefully inspire others um, back home and kind of set an example. It's, it's huge, I think, for, for the younger generation. And I know I was a big beneficiary of that. So, you know, being able to kind of do the same thing means a lot. The game's definitely growing in the UK. Um, it's really cool to, to see, you know, from, from a distance it's been for the past four years. But, you know, even when I was there and I think it's just really been driven by people who really care and really want to see the sport grow. Across the country, things, you know, different development programs, whatever it may be, and, you know, most recently, big developments in the BBL with, you know, specifically the London Lions and new owners of the league. And I know they have, uh, you know, kind of big plans to, to play on a, a bigger stage in Europe, and I think that's all good stuff, you know, for the league going forward. Tosan has got a few more weeks to wait until he knows whether he will be drafted into the NBA. But what does Tosan have to offer an NBA team? I think I can bring a lot to a team, an NBA team and, and a winning team. And, you know, the way I can impact the game on, on both ends and then really just being, you know, that winning mindset and, and doing it whatever it takes to make winning plays again on both ends of the floor. Just to everybody back home, you know, I really appreciate the support. Um, you know, I'm here to, to do a job and, and I really give it my all. So, you know, I can't wait. I'm super excited.